Hi everybody, Tony from AZ Gun Guys here once again doing more of a public service announcement today. Yes, it's hard to believe, but I have a little expansion problem. Alright, I'm a little big guy, I'm kind of heavy. Yeah, I'm fat, okay. But as all of us fat guys know, it's temporary and when we lose weight soon it'll all be gone in no time and, and we'll be back to being thin. But today's subject is fat guy holsters. What do you carry a gun? How do you carry your concealed carry gun? How do you carry it? It's tough. Most people have tuck holsters. You ever seen the commercials or the uh, videos of everybody? Oh yeah, tuck holster. They're all built like Brad Pitt. You know, for all those of us who have the expansion problem, not quite that simple. Tuck holsters hurt, especially when your gut hangs over it. You can't sit down. You're you're hitting you. Of course, again, it's all temporary. I found a new deal, and I do have a tuck holster. A lot of times I keep it in my, in my front pocket, or if I, uh, mostly in the front pocket. Um, and I do keep it, when I, when I transport, if I'm in my vehicle, I put the tuck holster, uh, I took the little clip off the side, and I keep that, you know, in the glove box, or in the, uh, next to me in my console, or actually still in my, in my, uh, in my pants pocket. But... When I go out, when I go places, wherever I go, whether, you know, wherever I can, where I'm legally allowed to carry, I found a new item that I carry. It's called the Sneaky Pete. Now, it's been out a few years. I know you've probably seen hundreds of these. There's all kinds of videos on this. I'm just one of many. I realize that. But i got to tell you, I really like it. So the Sneaky Pete is a, well, let's just get to it. Okay, Sneaky Pete. It's okay. I'm a big guy. It's hard to, hard to carry a tuck or anything. This is the Sneaky Pete right here. Okay, there it is. It's on the outside. It's hidden, but it's hidden in plain sight. It looks like a big cell phone case. Anybody ever ask me any questions about it? I always tell them it's a, it's a computer that I use for work when I order products. I've been in sales most of my life. So this is it. It fits right here. And when you need it, you're that quick. Okay, it fits that, that much into it. Okay, and I'll break this down a closer say, but here's how it fits on me. So it sits, it sits on the side of you, you carry it around, you walk around, anywhere. I went to a gun show I had on. I, the only place anybody who's ever even suspected it was at Cabela's, when I was there picking up some ammunition, there was a big early bird special there, and they were talking about um, where they had 22 ammunition, so of course there was a line all the way down the street. One guy in the line said, hey, is that a sneaky Pete? because he was looking at getting one also and I told him to talk about it. But they're the only one and of course it was Cabela so people know about these things. So once again here it is, you just simply lift it up and that quick you're on it, okay? This is my SIG 2, SIG P938. Now they make them very specific for all kinds of guns. I do not work for Sneaky Pete, I have no interest in selling them, but I'm just saying for big guys it's not a bad thought at all. You carry it on the outside, you know you can cover it up with your shirt if you want it to be completely but even if you have it like this, who cares? No one even knows. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so here is a Sneaky Pete. It's called a holster. It's really a concealed. It's not so much, people say, oh, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a nice holster. It's a holster. It's a, it's a concealed carrying holster, per se. Is it a holster like a regular holster? No, obviously not. But for concealed. If you look on the back, it's got real solid metal clips here that go onto your belt, real Real easy, you know, they go slide, you can either take it off or I take my belt and slide it right through, but it also pops up here on the back. Magnets here, right here, hold the, uh, and then of course and they connect to these guys here down below, and it sits, locks every time. Pops open real simple. Now just for purposes here, let's do a quick safety check because here at AZ Gun Guys, I unloaded this guy. This is my carry gun, so it's always loaded. But for the purposes of this, I unloaded it. Okay, so P238, excuse me, P938, the 9mm. Uh, the cool thing about it, Sneaky, Sneaky Pete makes these for every, just about every concealed gun. They are, they are specific to your specific gun. This one is designed for this gun only, 6R P938, and only this gun, period. That's it. It's only, only one that will fit in it. Now some guys talk about, you know, does it, is it, it changes the, uh, I've heard people talk about, you know, does it shape, mold, or bend or anything. Mine's about three months old. I carry it almost every day. I mean, I carry it a lot. Um, there's the inside there. It breaks. I don't know if you can see that here where the 
So when the gun itself sits in like this, it sits straight in and fits really nice. So it's very specific for each gun. Whether you get an LC9 or you get whatever whatever it is, maybe you have a P238, whatever whatever your carry gun is, these are specific to that gun. And they have a whole list of them on their website. It's I believe it's sneakypete.com. Again, I don't work for them, I don't sell them, I'm not pimping them, but I just I kind of like it. So that's what, you know, we're all about public service here at AZ Gun Guys. Here's the issue that people complain about, once again, and that is Six round mag is standard, it fits perfect in there, but a lot of guys want to carry the seven round mag. Here it is. Okay, so that's the problem. Feels good, it's got the uh, pinky rest, everything, but doesn't fit. Okay, does not fit with the seven round mag. If that bothers you a lot, hey, you got to find something different, you know. But for me, it doesn't bother me. I went back to six, I still put seven, I, I load in six. I rack one, I list, I load another one in there and I got my seven, I'm good to go. You know, that's, that's, you know, let's face it, we're, you're carrying a small gun, that's what you get. So there it is, a Sneaky Pete, it's about four, I'm going to say 49 or 59, I forget what they are. They're not cheap, they wish they were a little cheaper, but it's pretty good construction from what I can see, it's all leather, it comes in black, I mean it's just a, it's nice, it gets a little scuffed up, but say hey, that's, that's happening, you bump into stuff, you walk around with it. And there it is. My original one is the, as I say, that I used to carry, is the tuck holster. Here's the tuck right here. I've taken the clip off because it goes inside the belt and they're just a nightmare to carry for guy. But if I keep it in my pocket, I always keep, uh, always got to have a holster, but you want that trigger protected. Or if I keep it in my vehicle, if I have to get out, I'm going to go somewhere where I can. I'm not allowed to carry a gun, which I hate, but I leave it in the, in the vehicle and I've got it uh, in the holster like this. So that's pretty much it. There it is, the tuck holster, the Sneaky Pete. I've become a big fan of the Sneaky Pete, just like I said, because it does everything I ask. It's comfortable to wear. I can, you can wear it all day. It doesn't matter. It doesn't hurt. You can wear it at work. You can wear it out on the road. You can wear it if you're traveling. You can do anything you want with it. So there it is. Okay? All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Remember, AZ Gun Guys, give us a like. Subscribe if you would. Tell your friends about us. We're still getting things off the ground here, and we appreciate your support. Have a great day.